What up, everybody? Super, Super Bowl, Bowl Sunday. Sunday. Good. We said it at the exact same time. And that wasn't even planned. Uh, yeah. But we'll that just was, go with it and say it was. It was a good idea to get to get that to get that in uh, right off the right off the bat. Um, Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Fifty One is today, and today is all about one thing. My birthday. Yes. No, not quite. Today is all well, about I mean, one thing. Well, I mean, technically it is. Technically it is. Well, it is his birthday. Let me just say that right off the bat. Happy birthday, Tyler is... You going to disclose your age on the air, Tyler? No. Nah. Okay. We'll say he's an anonymous... No, that's wrong. We will just say he is an undisclosed age today that is lower than 80, but higher than 5, I think. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> you guys can take your guess on to whether or not that, that's actually accurate. Um, but okay, today on this show, we are going to be dissecting prop bets. Um, there's an article from CBS Sports with 51 prop bets. Um, this is Super Bowl 51, so we're going to do a prop bet for each year, technically speaking. Although these aren't uh, in any way uh, lining up with the individual Super Bowls. We're doing 51 prop bets total. I haven't read through these at all, Tyler, so these are going to be new to me as well. Okay. And we are going to try to get them all in. In one show. In one, Whatever, sh- one 15-minute show. So. Wherever we don't get, we don't get. I love these. This is always my favorite episode of the year, prop, prop bets. So, 51 prop bets. We'll start things off with entertainment props. Here's the prop bet. What will Luke Bryan be wearing when he starts singing the U.S. National Anthem? Blue jeans or any other pants or shorts? So, I don't know how you want to do this, Tyler. Do you, Should we go back and forth as to who goes first? Yeah. Um, I'll let you start with this one. All right. Do you give him blue jeans? And if you want to at all explain why, as long as you just make it quick. Um, blue jeans or any other pants or shorts for Luke Bryan when he starts singing the U.S. National Anthem. Blue jeans is a country star. He's I only see country stars wearing jeans. I'm going to agree jeans, with so. you there. Blue jeans as well. Um, he uh, the, the only question is, does he think that is too casual for the Super Bowl? Probably Which not. I don't think so because of the fact, right, like you said, he's a country singer, so... There's and been press, people that have worn less casual. He's got a brand, too, to maintain. So he'll probably wear blue jeans. I'm going to agree with you there. I will take blue jeans as well. Tyler, do you want to record? Do you want to put these down? Or do you think we can remember them? I think we can remember I them. I think we can probably remember them. We'll, we can go back through and if we go over it now. Start messing up. Who cares? Number two, how many times will Trump be said on television during broadcast? Over or under one and a half? I'll take this one first. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say under one and a half. I think there's a chance he's mentioned once, but I don't think that that's likely. Um, hey, I bet the guys at Fox were probably told not to say his name. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that. I'm going to go with under one and a half because right. for the same reason. Under under one and a half. Well, it's one and a half, isn't that so? Un, if, if he says it once, we're still good. So under one and a half, uh, where we've we're in well, what if he so says, far. So if he says Donald Trump, that's one. If he says Trump, that's a half. Just Trump. No, if, if how many will Trump be said? So, so if he says Donald... We're good. Yeah, if he says that, if he says Donald, we're good. Say Donald ten times. This one ties in with that as well. Who will Donald Trump pick to win the game? I don't think we know this yet. He hasn't made a selection yet. Probably Patriots. Uh, I'm okay. going to go with Patriots as well and because Trump is buddies with Tom Brady. I say Then he seems like a Patriots fan, too. But What are you saying, Tyler? I'm just kidding. We'll read this later. Nothing. How many times will Gronk or Gronkowski be set on television during live broadcast? Over or under three, I'm going to definitely say over. This is a risky bet for me, but I'm going to say over because Gronk was such a big part of the Patriots, and despite the fact that he's hurt, give me give me the over on this one. Uh, I go with over as well. With over, so so far we're in agreement through the first four. Will Houston have, well, sorry, will Houston, we have a problem, be set on television during the live broadcast? I'm going to say... Actually, no, it's your turn. You, your okay, so what was it against? Will the words, Houston, we have a problem, be said on television during the live broadcast? I hope so. We're just going to go with a yes, because I want it to I be... I want it to be said. I want it to be said so I want it to be bad. said, but I'm going to have to go with no on this one. Um, because I, of the fact that, despite it being played in Houston, neither of these teams are from Houston. I don't, yeah, but I, don't I really, know. really want them to say, Houston, we have a problem. That would be pretty funny. Number six, what color will Lady Gaga's hair be when she comes on stage for the halftime show? Blonde or any other color? Blue. And you know my reason. Go. Yeah. So you're going with the, you're going with any other color. I know exactly why. <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually a joke. Um, we'll go with blonde because I've never seen her with any other color. I agree blonde. with you on that one. We'll so. say blonde as well. Actually, that was my turn to pick first, so I'll go with this uh, one. It was. First. Yeah. You did. I was saying blonde as well. Yeah. Uh, which song number seven will Lady Gaga play first during the halftime show? I don't know half these songs, 
Born This Way, Bad Romance, Edge of Glory, Poker Face, Just Dance, or any other song. Um, I know actually a couple of those. I know, I know like, a couple of these. I'm going to say... But I've never listened to them. Born This Way. Um, g- give me Born This Way well, as a... Uh, what were some of the other the options? Bad Romance, Edge of Glory, Poker Bad Face. Romance. That's, you know, bad that's Romance. That's her biggest song. All right, number eight. How many times will J.J. Watt be mentioned on television during the live broadcast? Over one or under one or even? Hmm. I'm going to go with under one because it's, he's not playing. Same. So. I don't think there's any reason for him to be mentioned. Um, he was injured all year. He didn't win any award this year, so give me the under for that. How many times will Deflate or Deflate Gate be said on television during the live broadcast? I don't even think it's going to... Over one and a half or under one and a half, Tyler? I'm going to take the over big time. I think there's a chance it said three or more times. Tyler, you're going to take the under for this. I'm going to take under because I think at least once, but probably like in the beginning when they're talking about... Yeah. Uh, No, I'm going to take the over just because it looms large. His four-game suspension, he's got bad blood between him and the commissioner. So I'm going to take the over on this one. How many times will whatever Tom Brady's wife's name is be said on or be shown rather on television during the broadcast Giselle don't attempt it don't don't attempt it Giselle Boompton I have no idea people don't really want to hear me uh I don't think try to pronounce her name yeah um uh over one and a half or under one and a half Tyler under it'll probably be wait shown on TV just shown on TV Probably, if they're going to show it, it's probably going to be at the end of the game, so... Um, I don't know, maybe over on this one. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you think about it, because if she's going to be on there... Um, what if the Falcons win, though? If the Falcons win, it'll be under. But the Patriots win, it'll be over, because she'll probably get shown a couple times. Ooh. I'm going to say under, because I think the Falcons win. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with the under on this one. Here are some in-game props now. Um, number 11, heads or tails for the coin flip, Tyler. Oh, this is me first, right? Yeah. Tails never fails. What goes heads? All right, this will make it interesting. These are some ones that will be fun to keep track of. I'll tra- track of these are the most fun. Number 12, will either team make a field goal in the first quarter? Hmm, I don't think so, no. I'm going to say no as well, and this is why. Tyler, did you know the Patriots in their last six Super Bowls have not made, have not scored a point in the first quarter? Really? Yes, and that's the craziest stat ever. I don't think it will play a factor, but it's still crazy. And I think the Falcons are going to be up at the end of the first quarter. I think it's going to be sort of a quarter-by-quarter quarter thing. And I'll talk about this more on a different show. I think the Falcons will go up big in the first quarter. I think the Patriots will come back and make it close at halftime. Uh, I think the Patriots might t- end up taking the lead in the third quarter, and then the Falcons come back in the fourth. That's kind of my thinking. So I'm going to say no. Neither team makes a field goal. It could be a 7-0, seven, seven 14-7 seven game at the end of one. Uh, number 13, will either team score three straight times, three, three times in a row? Hmm. This is, this is me first. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Because I think the Falcons' offense is explosive enough. I think the, the Patriots' offense is consistent enough. They, they, uh, I, really, I really think that either team could do this, score three times in a row. This includes field goals as well. Okay, so then I, I will go with a yes because I yes as well because it both teams have been dominant all year. Number fourteen, length of the first reception by Chris Hogan, over under eleven and a half yards. He averaged seventeen point nine yards per catch this year, Tyler. I'll go with under on this one. Give me the over. What would be funny is if Chris Hogan doesn't catch a pass this game, gets hurt like in the third play of the game, and ends up yeah. Not that's playing. that's why I'm going with under because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the over first reception, twelve at least twelve yards. I think he's a big part of this game in the deep passing game. Number fifteen, will Legarrette Blunt score a touchdown in the first half? Hmm. I don't think so. I'm I'm think it's more passing. Give me the yes because first quarter is going to be a lot of ground and pound. I think They'll, this, the Patriots will try to pass the ball. But I think they're going to try to ground it out in the Falcons. Give me the yes for this one. Number 16, this is me first. Total yardage of all touchdowns. Here's an interesting one. Total yards of all touchdowns over or under 100.5. Real quick, what number are we at? This is number 16. We might have to do a second one. What yeah, we're, we have five minutes left. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll stop here halfway through and do a second one. 
total yardage of all touchdowns. This is a really interesting one for me. I feel like the Patriots are going to get in close and then run it with Blunt, to be honest, for the touchdown. I think the Falcons are more reliant on the explosive plays, but to, and to me, there's a good chance that Ryan gets a couple of 40-yard touchdown passes in this one, and that in and of itself is 60. I'm still going to take the under on this one for the total yards of all, t- all the touchdowns. I'll agree with you on that one, under. Under 105. We've been agreeing on a lot of these. We have been agreeing on a lot. Number 17, total first downs by the Patriots, over or under 23 and a half, Tyler. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Total first downs? Over or under what? That's okay. 23 and a half. That's a lot. There's a lot of first downs. I'm going to go with under. <sighs> I want to take the under. But part of me says no, Caleb. Don't take the under. Yeah, I know that. That's what I'm, I'm gonna. Too. I'm gonna. Man, I'm gonna be risky, and I'm gonna take the over on this one. Over 23 and a half first downs. Number 18. Will Malcolm Butler intercept a pass? In my opinion, absolutely not. He's an overrated corner. Julio Jones is going to smoke him in this game unless they put a second guy on him, which I think they will. I think there's a chance it's McCourty and Malcolm Butler on him. So I think they'll be able to bottle up Jones a little bit, but Butler has does not have a good day. Uh, no, no interceptions for him. Yeah. You're going to say no as well? I'm going to say no as well. Number 19, first half spread. Atlanta Falcons, one and a half, plus one and a half. Patriots, minus one and a half. I'll, go with, I'll start with this one. I think the Patriots are actually going to be winning at halftime. I'm going to take the negative one and a half. They're going to be up by at least two. I'm going to, I'm going to go with the Patriots covering the spread. Same. I'm going to go with the Patriots as well. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of these. Number 20, will the Patriots convert a fourth down attempt? Uh, I'm going to go with a yes on this one. I'm going to go with no because I don't think they'll have to. I mean, if if it comes down to it, I think yes. But... If it comes down to it, I don't know. I'm going to still say no because I, I don't think they're going to have to. Number 21, total gross passing yards by Matt Ryan over under 325 and a half. Give me the over all day. There's a chance this guy goes for 400 yards in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, give me the over. Crazy. Give me the over as well. Over. Number twenty-two. Will the opening kickoff result in a touchback? Uh, what are you going with? Yes. You going with yes? Because it seems like most of the time nowadays. I'm say yes. Bryant and Goskowski are two great kickers. Number twenty-three. Will Matt Ryan throw a touchdown pass in the first quarter? Give me the yes. Give me a. Hmm. I'll take a no on this take one. A no on this one. All right. Number twenty-four. Distance of the first Matt Ryan touchdown pass over under thirteen and a half yards. I'm going to go with the over on this one. Again, I think it's a big touchdown pass to start things off. Hmm. I'm going to go with under. On this under 13 and a half yards. All right. How much time do we have left? A uh, minute 30. minute 30. All right. We can get to one more to make it halfway, and then we'll do the second one coming up on the next show. Number 25. Total number of penalties in the game by both teams over under 12 and a half. This is interesting. In my opinion, something tells me that this is not going to be... It, I, just my gut in this one tells me that there's not going to be a lot of penalties in this game. I think these are two smart teams, and they're going to keep it under the line, which is 12 and a half. I'm going to go with the under. I agree with you on that one, because neither team seems like they would put many penalties. Yep. I think it's going to be a pretty clean game, which now, I, I like clean games. Now, if this was, let's say, like... um. The Patriots want to, um, Patriots Seahawks one. I would have said yes in a heartbeat. That'd be different, yeah. That'd be different, but all right, that gets us through twenty-five. Uh, Tyler, we'll come back with our second segment of this, and then we'll get to some more break a bigger breakdown of the Super Bowl and some music news. I guess you have for us later, Tyler. Huh? Yep. We are recording all day today. It's gonna be great. Super Bowl Fifty One coming up tonight. Hey, 